Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Welcome to my 24 days of Christmas projects for you. I'm so excited. The first one today is this adorable little treat holder. It holds three treat tubes, which then each hold a peppermint stick. So I'm gonna show you how we made that. And remember, you'll be able to get the full PDF tutorial with your December orders. So all orders over $50 in December, I will email you the full PDF tutorial uh, with photos and things for you, okay? Here we go. We're gonna start with our little treats set and our little treat box dies. And I love these. I've been using them during the fall and now Christmas time, making fun little treats. So this makes the box, and the nice thing is, is it works on a six by six piece of paper. So all those paper packs that we have that are six by six, for any occasion, you can make these up. Obviously, they're cute stocking stuffers, but you can make them up for uh, birthdays and anniversary, teacher gifts, all that kind of stuff. So just a fun, fun little, a little treat. Cute stamp set, right? It's got a lot of fun things in there. So this is what we're going to use today. And let me show you what I did. So I used this big die, which cuts out the box. Like I said, you can cut it out of a six by six piece of paper. And I used the Heartwarming Hugs designer paper for this. So we'll go ahead and put this together first. When you cut this out, it has these cute score lines already there for you. So the work is really already done. I just like to burnish them a little bit with my bone folder. and make them a little bit more crisp. That always helps with a 3D project. I know that then the, the lines are gonna stay where I want them if when I fold up my box or bag. So we'll be using our bone folder a lot for these different, uh, different projects for these 24 days, I'm excited. So this particular uh, die, you can put it together several ways. So today we're gonna to put it together just how it's intended, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of, of adhesive only because uh, I want it to hold. So right where um, the little tabs are, I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive in there. And again, the treat tubes, when I fill them with the candy canes, they become a little heavy. So I want it to be, I want to be sure that it's all gonna hold. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive on each side to make our box. This die is so wonderful. I've just made tons of these these last few months. Lots of different styles. Okay, how easy is that? So then I wanted to use a Taylor Tag Punch. So I've got that with some pear pizzazz. And I'm gonna attach that right onto the front of our treat box. This is so simple, you guys, you could make several of these. These would be great class gifts, teacher gifts, mailman, all that kind of stuff, because they're pretty darn simple. Okay, and then for our sentiment, I've got some of the stamps from the Little Treat stamp set. And I'm going to use Thick Whisper White because I want it to, to kind of be a little stiff, nice and thick. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And use the rectangular postage stamp punch. So what's fun about this is now I can stamp these cute ornaments right across the top. So I'm going to get some scratch paper here. And these ornaments, they're going to kind of play off the top a little bit. Um, hang off kind of left and right, I should say. There we go. But with the dies that come with this bundle, this is the coolest bundle. In the dies that come with it, are little ornament dies. And we can put some on. And I've got a couple here that I cut out. Let me show you. 
Here's some ornament dies here and some more right here. So I used some scraps of Mossy Meadow and Pear Pizzazz. And then I'm just gonna put it on with a glue dot. It's not gonna take a lot of wear and tear, but I thought it would just be kind of fun to add to the, the color and everything. So I'll just use my glue dots to do that. And then the skinny one, I'll just kind of fold my glue dot in half a little bit. I hope you guys are excited. 24 days of projects. It's been so much fun making them and getting ready for the holidays all at the same time. See how cute that is? So then I just wanna put some dimensionals on the back of this so that it'll pop up a little bit. Okay, it's coming together. And do you remember, gosh, was it last year maybe? Maybe the year before, but I think last year Stampin' Up! sold those treat tubes during their fall in the fall catalog. Well, Three of those treat tubes fit perfectly inside this cute little box. So that's what I did. And maybe, I'm sure that you can find some at Amazon or somewhere else if you don't have any left over. But here's what they look like. And I was lucky enough to find these adorable peppermint sticks from Amazon because I wanted to put candy inside. But this year is a year that I didn't really want to use unwrapped candy so I wanted to find something that was pre-wrapped and would go in there well and these were perfect look at that okay so we're going to do that two more times and fill our treat tubes so perfect and then we'll get some ribbon on here There we go. Look how perfect that is. So for the ribbon, I thought it would be fun to use uh, our sheer ribbon that's in the holiday catalog. And I've just got a piece, I think about 23 inches or so, just so that I could tie around. So it's our, our real red sheer ribbon. And it just looks so pretty. And I'm just gonna tie a bow. And then we'll kind of make it look pretty and adjust it a little bit. This is one of those places for kind of a floppy bow. Will work nicely. So that's why I wanted to use such a big piece of ribbon. Okay. So we can trim it. There we go. What do you think? How's that for number one project, day one of the 24 days of Christmas? I'm really excited, you guys. I've got a lot of things to show you with a lot of ideas that you can use for all occasions. You don't have to use them just for Christmas, right? You can use them for birthdays, uh, party gifts for school, and all sorts of things. And then as the month goes on, as we get into later December, I'll also be showing you some sneak peeks of the upcoming new mini catalog, the January through June catalog. So we've got a lot to see and I've got so much to show you. I really appreciate you guys watching today. Happy day number one of 24 Days of Christmas, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.